Come here. You haven't been injured either. All right, lighter, lighter. Come on. Worst time for it to go out. Welcome everyone to another episode of the Forest Realism Challenge. And I've made my way back to the boat because we've done a lot of exploring in the other section of the island over there, the caves. We know that they have a large cave system here that's interconnected. Other people have come here to explore and do, you know, cave climbing, uh, cave diving with water uh, equipment, you know, snorkeling or scuba equipment. We have air tanks. We found evidence of people using some kind of climbing equipment that we have not found yet and we kind of need. So we're at an impasse and where we found we need to go next that we have evidence of Timmy in that direction. We don't have the equipment we need. So since I have been over this way, I know the cannibals patrol through this way because that's where I first encountered them. And we have found a tent over here. There stands to reason that they may be some more equipment over here. There may be another cave entrance over here that I have not found yet. So I am over in this area now over at the tip of the peninsula to explore a bit and see what I find. Okay, so I'm right over here by the clear area where the little pond is. I got a fish and I got uh, some water to carry with me. So if I need be, I can boil it while I'm down in a cave. And all these effigies here. So clearly something going on here. Look, a big, big tall effigy. And we're right here at a cave entrance that is new. I have not been in this one yet. So we are going to check this one out and see if maybe we find more evidence of Timmy being somewhere through here. And I hear something. I also see rope there. All right, we got luggage, clothing container. Get some cloth. Uh, what we got over here? We got an overturned table. And I'm hearing them grunting in the distance. So they're here. Yep, they're here. Let's, uh, I've got a bunch of flares now, thanks to that, uh, spot. Ah, did it again. I always do that. I hit the wrong button, meaning to light it and then throw it after the fact. Uh, there it is. So I did find a bunch of flares in that place where the modern axe was, that they had actually respawned again. Come here. I'm going to get you. I can't see you as well. And of course, my, you know, lighter decided to go put away when I... Oh, no. Ah. All right. Get up top. Oh, I got up here. I know you can get up here. Or you might be able to get up here. Ah, oh, got you. Not a headshot. But it was a hit. I love how badly they cannot climb up a little path there. I mean, I got up here. Why can't you? Now you're going to get it. Come on. I'm going to make you mad. Oh. Acting like I got hit. Despite the fact that he is... Oh, yeah, fight. Come on, fight each other. Oh. Headshot, headshot, headshot. Hey, he has an arrow clearly sticking out of his head. Why is he not dead already? I and mean, look at that. It's clearly sticking out of his head. He should be dead already. And he should be... Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh -huh. One more. Just to make sure. All right. I need to heal. And get my... A uh, stick back out and light it so I can see a little better. All right. Uh, and yes, because I am sadistic already, I'm going to burn them. Oh, and of course it goes out right then. As I set him on fire, it puts my torch out. Let's well, see light over there. We're going to get to that in a second. So I have this guy burning, and there's another arrow. I think I was accidentally using my modern arrows. 
Just, I do not want to waste those. Ah, oh, I've got some coins and cash. Yep, there's a light there. I don't know why I can't just throw the torch. Like, I mean, I light the torch. Can I throw it too? And, you know, maybe a, you know, click wheel button option. Like, hey, I'm going to throw the torch instead of just holding it and defending with it. So I can actually use it as a flare of source. It can sit in the distance, be lit for just a moment. Come on, burn, burn. All right, let's get my armor back up because my armor is gone. Back to back. So I've got that armor on. We also have this creepy armor that I got off of the weird creature, the multi-legged creature. I'll throw some of my lizard skin on there. So I have a good bit... <laughs> Oh, yeah, look, you can see the armor coming off of uh, my arm there. That was new. That was added to the game with the release. Oh, uh, skull, skull light. Okay. I could do that, though. I'm thinking from a realism standpoint, why would you think, hey, let's just, you know, I'm going to take this skull lamp and take a little bit of sap or take the skull and make it into a lamp. I mean, that's kind of sadistic in a way. Like, I'm just going to use somebody's head. Granted, you know, cannibal person's head, but still, that's, that's kind of, seems a little weird you would do that, even in a situation like this. I'm not crazy yet. I haven't gone crazy, so that feels a little wrong to do that sort of thing. I've got uh, more passengers from the plane. I would assume, unless somebody else got lost here real recently, got some more meds. Tons of coins. That's useful for making the explosives, you know. Ah, battery. Got some batteries, finally. Oh, come on. I can't tell if that's dripping or if it's walking. This sounds like somebody walking. Oh, and what we got? Another piece of the toy. So, Timmy has been in here or somebody that took a piece of his toy has been through here. So we know we've got at least evidence we're on the right track still. We're not going the wrong direction entirely. Surely there's more. There we go. There's something. Cloth and half of a body. Somebody's lower torso. <laughs> oh, oh, got a drawing. Trees and a big hole in the ground. The sinkhole. We found that sinkhole. And look, here is from the other drawing. Uh, we had another drawing. Timmy's drawings. Let's see. We've got... There's four of them. How do I switch between them? Uh, I guess I can't manually switch. But there is a drawing we found previously that had the crosses drawn in it. So this is validation for one of the pictures and we found the toy so yes timmy has been in this area we know that uh 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 i heard you just one oh no there's another one over there and you're trying to take my armor away already come on i just got this good armor all right can you squeeze through there You'll have to crouch down. Oh, 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 no. I think they're stuck. I think they cannot get through, which is beneficial to me. Oh, oh, I was wrong. He got through. He can walk through. Apparently now I can too. Come on. I still got some armor. Go. Oh, three of you. Well, that's not very friendly. All right, here we go. Dynamite, if it will let me light it. Keep hitting five, and it's not doing anything. Ha ha! Did you die? Did anybody die from that? Apparently not. Apparently, they can just take full-on hits of, you know, dynamite explosion and survive. Oh, I'm running out of oh, stamina. Ah. Let me get my lighter out again so I can, you know, see when this torch goes out. Or, uh, flare. 
Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I thought I was going to miss and I got him. Yes, I got my arrow back. Okay. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come here. You haven't been injured either. All right, lighter, lighter. Come on. Worst time for it to go out. Worst time possible for the lighter to go out is when I'm sitting there face to face with one of these guys. Ah, oh. ah, oh, okay. My health is good. It is time to make some more armor. Okay, so I've got a bunch of armor on now and I'm not hearing any grunts or any little giggles from them. So I'm assuming maybe they are all cleared out now. It was just them. A bunch of cloth. They've been going through everybody's clothing down here. Shredding it, making, I guess, their ropes for hanging up their bodies. Like, how bad is that? They take your clothing, rip it apart to make rope to hang you by after they kill you because that's, you know, they're going to eat you later. All right, we've got a drop down there. Anything? Oh, just cloth from that. Uh, some stool. Ooh. I see some more light that way, too. Uh, so we've got something else here in the distance. Before we go climbing down, let's check over here. Oh, little clothing box. I feel like I might already have all the different options. And, of course, I have that one. Another flashlight. Did I get another flashlight? I feel like I did. It looked like a flashlight there. I torch uh, flares. And, all right, these can be broken, so let's try breaking them. And it's just organs, hearts. Let's, yeah, hearts. Somebody just packed hearts in there for some reason. That, that's a little uh, disconcerting. Oh, so dark, so dark. Uh, did I get extra batteries? Maybe I took the batteries out of that torch, the plastic torch that I found there, because I'm sure that was a plastic torch. Now look at that body. Decomposed body. Uh, torch. Oh, oh. It's a cross. Jesus on a cross. Okay. Enough of looking at that. I, I've seen it. Now, it doesn't, shouldn't take that long to hold it up and look at it. And I, I'm so shocked that he is holding his arm out like that. It seems very strange he would die and still keep his arm up like that. Like, unless he just burnt really quickly. And we have the rebreather. So now we have a way to dive. So that's helpful. Plus, look here. We've got a water area. Uh, this is probably a good time to test out the rebreather. And we've got plenty of tanks. We actually have as many as we could possibly carry. Let's go ahead. Uh, does it give me my air level not at the moment all right so i'm good on air so i don't need to go ahead and fill up it has air already in it and we can actually somewhat see underwater it's very blurry underwater you know in this game it's not very clear i see a bright red blob in the distance oh oh it's split into two for a moment it's kind of hard to tell. It looks like it's above the water, but not above the water. Oh, wh baby thingies. Oh, weird baby thingies. I, I killed. He's moving a little bit. I think they're dead. And there's not much going on here, but we still have that red light in the distance. Uh, and I still have my rebreather on, so that's helpful. So let's go. Oh, yes. Okay. So we still have red blob up ahead. And oh, we are... Wow, let's get some light on this. This is now really getting weird. Some kind of door, it looks like. Some large object. You know, something there. Uh, you know what? I really don't need skulls. I'm not going to make lamps out of them because I, I that just seems weird. I'm not crazy yet. Yet, be an operative word here. Uh... Some weird door. That's metal. Obviously not something, you know, the cannibals would produce. And look, we've got tents down here. Uh, more. Right, let's get the torch. 
Let me get the, the upgraded stick torch back out. Light it so I can maybe see a little bit better. Yeah, look at this. So they're some kind of structure or being, some kind of god they're praying to. And my food is getting low. My water too. There we go. We've also got Bibles here. So it's like some kind of religious cult hanging out in here. Uh, interesting that they were... Oh, I found some gun ammo. That's why I, I doubt they were the ones using the rebreather to get here. So they must have another entrance this way that is breaches ground. Because this is a very odd place to be. You know, just to swim down here and then make camp like this. Like, what are you actually protecting yourself from elements-wise here by putting up a tent? Is it just for privacy? Uh, okay, yeah, another Bible. You know what? We've got flares all around this place. Let's just right, put the Bible away. I, I picked the flare. I want the flare. Thank you. We'll just put the flares. Uh, uh No, not the Bible again. Give me the flare. Let's drop a couple of these around. Got some ropes. So, climbing stuff. Got rebreather. Uh, air canisters. So, maybe they are the ones that were down here and swam in here to make camp. That seems odd. You would bring enough stuff to go diving in a cave and put a tent up. And a tent that apparently we're not allowed to go inside. Tons of flares, of course. Uh, kind of looks like an old pot that I don't get to use. And we have this big painting thing on the wall where they apparently died praying to it. What else we got? Anything over here? No. So, yeah, apparently they just made camp here and started praying for some reason. And made camp behind a strange doorway. That's not something I'm familiar with seeing normally in life. So now we're going to continue diving, I guess. That's the only other way out I see. Like how the rebreather's headlamp turns off slowly after you get out of the water. Uh, and I'm cold again. But yeah, I need to build another fire, another basic fire. I'm going to have so many basic fires everywhere in these caves they're gonna come in and be like oh who made this fire who who put this here okay uh rope platform so we have that oh uh, we've got some picture cannibal camp the encampment and look there's that x again that like x structure oh hey i got me another fire here somebody made camp here Probably decide to climb up here and start this fire to get warm. Because they're like, oh man, I'm too cold. Or maybe it was them coming from this direction. That they're like, I'm going to make a fire and get cold, uh, warm again because I'm cold. Okay, there is a wall here. and uh, Oh, okay, I've got this. Oh, and we have a spot, a very tight squeeze, but I see bright blue. So daylight. Yes, daylight. And I'm still on my first uh, can of air from this. And what we got here? Oh, it's geese. Geese everywhere. So we are in the middle of, well, easiest way to call it, Geese Lake. Because there's geese here and it's a little lake. And, well, yes, that is the name in the game. That's what it's being called. We're just going to name it that because of the fact that, hey, you know, there's geese here. And I love how I automatically know where I am, basically, with this map. Like, I just came out of nowhere, but I know where I am relative to that sinkhole. And, uh, yeah, that is always, you know, perfectly explainable that you just happen to know stuff like that. There's some big fish here, too. But that is going to be it for today's episode of the Forest Realism Challenge. Again, this is where I focus on trying to play the game from the mindset of the actual main character. How would he think in this situation? How would he respond to certain things? What's really going to be going on in his mind? So 
hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, be sure to hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I am your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.